So people may have seen you, Thomas, on The Apprentice. Yeah. Do you think of all the people who have ever been on The Apprentice, you were the most custom built for The Apprentice with your background? Selling, 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 working, yeah, working, working. Like, you know, like, so that, that going on The Apprentice is the best thing I've ever done, and I absolutely love doing that show, but I don't think they'd had anyone on there like me before. You know, like, when you watch that show, everyone on there's like, I'm the best at this, I'm the best at that. I, it was his fault, it was her fault. I was like, oh, God, I'm crap at that, mate. Like, no, 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 I'll take the blame. They weren't, that's how I was, do you know what I mean? So I think it was just, I was a bit different on that show, but that that show was such an experience for me. Like, I met people that I'd never ever meet in, in my life, you know what I mean? And, and uh, it was just great fun, great fun. I just, on The Apprentice, there's one thing that really fucks me off, and that's when you get kicked off, and I can't work out, like, they're always, you're always in the clothes that you arrived on, arrived in. Yeah, because you filmed it at the start. What? You film your exit at the start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. What? I don't know. <laughs> so that's that's why I'm always confused about it. <laughs> so, so, so you'd start today, the, today's show, dressed like this, and then I've, I've watched you over six, seven, eight weeks, and then you're in exactly the same clothes again. I go, fucking hell, what's... Yeah, but you know what they do? They, so, so you have to pick your ballroom suit. So, so they go, right, you need one suit that you have to wear in a ballroom. You think, oh, it's got to fucking stink, isn't it? Like you wear... You yeah, know, like, like, the, like this room. Like this room, basically, yeah, yeah. right? And and you have you have the one suit and the one tie, and that is your ballroom suit. So every time you go in a ballroom, you have to wear that suit. And then what you do is you go, they go to you, right, before we do task number one, we want you down here on a Wednesday... We want to we want to film you walking out of the boardroom into the cab, so that when you get fired, if you get fired, that goes on the telly. Right, but right, Joe. I think we need to ask Thomas what else really goes on in the Apprentice because there's a lot of stuff to explore in the Apprentice, isn't there? Yeah, let's let's get into that bit. Okay, um, you won't be aware of this, Thomas, um, and Joe may be angry for me for uh, with me for raising it, but Joe sometimes very occasionally struggles with reading the script. Um, at the top of the show. How many goes at it does Sugar have to have when he does the task at the top? A hundred. Yeah. Oh, he fucks up. I'm all the time. Yeah. Mate, a ballroom, a ballroom. No, he does I swear my life. A one, listen, Lawson was a legend, yeah? But you got to remember, he's in his 70s. There's an old boy. He comes in and he goes, uh, and he just says something completely wrong. <laughs> but, so are you lot sitting there whilst he's getting it all uh, wrong one ballroom takes three or four hours to film <laughs> oh and you're sitting there and sometimes you've got to stand you've got to stand at the back yeah so you don't always get a chair so you can be standing <laughs> and you're standing and you're thinking fucking hell like oh just fire someone because <laughs> there's, there's only what's there there's only four chairs is there yeah, you, get, you have like four chairs, front, and, the other and then everyone else sitting on the back. You got to stand, but you st you're standing for a long time, and, it, and it's like, cut. What? Can you say that again, please? We didn't catch up on the last line. And you think what? And then you see like the two of them arguing, like so. They go, no, I, I, you, I told you to do that. I told you to sell them. And then all of a sudden they go, cut. Could you have that argument again, please? No <laughs> way. Is that is that legit? Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> You've got to go. Oh no, this is. I think this is ruining it for me, Tom. <laughs> I think I want it, I want this to be untrue. I want to. I don't want the magic of TV to be ruined. That Lord Sugar actually. Well, yeah, listen, do you want he's. To... In fact, it's nice to hear that he can't fucking read um, a line off a piece of paper like I can actually. That's so the boardroom is not actually boardroom. It's it's a uh, it's a warehouse. No, it's a warehouse. No, and and uh, you stand in a queue outside the warehouse and you wait to go in, and then you walk into this warehouse that looks like a boardroom. With all lights and cameras, there's like sixty people in there with all cameras as well. So like, you, you you're in there and you're, you're thinking, I want to win the show. So you're like, the little sugar, I'm I'm the best. And they go, cut. <laughs> it's but it's brilliant. It is brilliant though. But it's not in a boardroom. It's not in a boardroom, mate. That's in a warehouse. But it looks like a boardroom. But obviously, it's TV, isn't it? Yeah, but it, it looks like it's up high. It's just on the ground floor in a, in, a, in a warehouse in West London. It's not even on the second floor. Fuck. I don't know what to say anymore. Who is the most intimidating? Oh, yeah. Who are you most scared by, Joe? Um, Claude. No. Uh, who's the Karen? girl? Karen. Karen Brady. Oh, she's got a vicious tongue on her. <laughs> Honestly. Well, she's, she's all right, to be fair. She's all right. Is she? Yeah. Do you know what? Like They're actually all... It's like, they're really nice to you. 
They're like, oh, how are you? Oh, you're doing really, really well. Kill them with yeah, kindness. Yeah, fantastic. And all of a sudden, you go to a Vox Pop and they go, can't believe Thomas done that. He's like, look, he's absolutely... And you think, what? You just, what did you just stretch out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake, this has really ruined it all for me. Right. Alan Sugar, although he can't like get the words out properly and he has to take three or four hours to get the take right, is he all right? He's actually all right. He's is he? Stuff. He's a nice... He's a really nice... I was lucky I got on well with him. Yeah. He's a really nice man, to be fair. Was there a part of, with your epic, with your series where you were... Because I remember when he, he fired you in the end and he was gutted to do so, he, or he went on for a while saying, I don't want to do this. I really like you, Thomas. I think you're wonderful. But was there a part of you that just wanted to turn around and said, well, fucking hell, mate. Yeah, you didn't like me that much because you're firing me it, then. He went He went to I me. Mean, I'm sitting... I'm sitting. I knew I was getting fired. I'd lost every single task. Like... <laughs> And like how I was Ominous. even on that show in the first place, I don't know. You know what I mean? And and I was sit, I'm sitting there, and, and he goes, uh, he goes, Tom, I really really like you, but you know, eight out of nine weeks you've just lost, <laughs> you know, and and you keep getting it wrong. And I was like, I know, I know. <laughs> He's like. Does a leopard change its spots? And I went, well, I don't know, I might do. And he went, no, no, leopard doesn't change its spots. <laughs> went, oh. Rhetorical. Yeah. Then, and then, oh, sorry, I mean, it wasn't a question. I went, oh, sorry. And he goes, but, you know, if we was friends and if we was at war and I was in the trenches and I was a general, who would I want by my side? You. Because I know I could trust you. But we're not at war. We're in my boardroom. And that is why I'm going to have to fire you. I'd love you to just go, we're not in a fucking boardroom. <laughs> we're in a warehouse. We're in a warehouse, you liar. It's all bollocks. Not, <laughs> not even on the second floor. You liar. And when he, when, he, when he actually said, you're fired, yeah. like his classic line, did he do it just the once or did he have to yeah, fire you more than once? Four or five times. Not nothing. <laughs> <laughs> just pretend you're surprised again, Can please. Can you do it with the other hand this time, please? You're fired. <laughs> oh, am I? You told me fucking four, four goes ago. <laughs> Oh, right. Okay. Well, that's really sport. Not sport. In fact, I quite like that, the insight into actually how it all works. Maybe I was just so naive thinking that it was real 